called Mr. Fire. What's the address of the emergency? An emergency is by definition not predictable. We're at 5401 Calhoun Byers Road. Yet there are certain things we expect when the worst happens. Well, I just remember waking up, sitting in the back of the truck, and then just like in the far distance, just lights and sirens. When the truck carrying Oscar Olguin swerved off the road and flipped. Yeah, they, they lost control of the truck. Help arrived quickly, as it almost always does. You're going to have two juveniles, one complaining of back pain, one possibly a dislocated or broken collarbone. The paramedics decided to take Oscar and his two brothers to the hospital. So medic A3 emergency children. A routine call. I felt the ambulance slowing down. Then the unexpected happened. Medic call medic A3. Medic A3. We'll be out of service mechanical. The Strasburg Fire Ambulance carrying Oscar and his brothers broke down on I-70. Start me a chief level officer to my location as well as a tow truck. They had to call in another ambulance from another district to pick up the patients and take them away, stopping traffic on the highway to transfer them. I didn't know where they were, so I kept on saying they should be here, they should be here. Back at the hospital, their mother waited and wondered. I think when I called my son is when he told me the ambulance broke down. I thank God my kids are okay, but if they weren't, what would have happened? Her frustration may only be rivaled by his. How do I justify this to my public, to my patients who are sitting on the side of the highway? John Calton is the paramedic who was driving that ambulance. He told the story to the Strasburg Fire Board a few weeks later. I had a member here who, who asked me if he should bring the other medic unit. I said, no, it'll probably break down. Sure enough, that ambulance broke down two days later. He also had a problem with a fire truck. I take the brush engine, to a column buyers for a fire. The pump on that fire truck failed and he couldn't get water on the fire until another truck arrived. Calton is that. airing his grievances here for a reason. Yes, the board yeah. makes the calls on things like maintenance. I want answers. Why are these rigs breaking down on such a consistent basis? As far as the breakdowns, I don't know what happened to him. But here in Strasburg, the elected fire board president, Don Shearer, is also a mechanic who holds the contract for maintaining Strasburg's vehicles. Do you feel that this is a conflict of interest? You know, there are not a lot of shops that do the bigger trucks in our area. And I mean, that's kind of what we've done and we've just done it for so long. Um, I, I felt more that it was my way with my experience to give to the community. And uh, obviously, you know, it just, it's, it's part of our business. It's, not that large a part of our business, so um, I didn't really think of it as a conflict of interest, no. Strasburg is unique along the I-70 corridor of firefighting agencies. All neighboring departments pay to have their vehicles serviced and maintained by the Bennett Fire Department. Bennett Fire has a certified emergency vehicle mechanic on staff, and until 2017, they bid on the Strasburg contract each time, losing to a one-paragraph bid from Shearer's shop. Why doesn't Strasburg use Bennett Fire? Um, I don't, I can't answer that for you, I guess. I didn't vote on it, but the rest of the board did. Shearer's hold on the contract only recently started getting a lot of public scrutiny. While his shop has certified diesel mechanics who work on school buses, he's been criticized for not having an emergency vehicle technician on staff, something he argues is only a standard, not a rule. The Strasburg fire chief has complained of everything from a lack of communication about repairs to Shearer using aftermarket parts that end up breaking. You know, he has a right to his opinion with the stuff. And as for the laundry list of problems laid out in that meeting last month, Shearer says they aren't maintenance issues and his shop should not be held responsible. It's very frustrating. Brad Jones is a volunteer paramedic and firefighter. He's also the creator of Friends of Strasburg Fire, a group pushing for reform on the fire board. A fire engine is a very specific type of equipment that needs daily maintenance by crews and then heavy maintenance by qualified mechanics and he's not in a position to do that. Their first focus, Shearer's contract. We have options. We have cheaper options and we have more qualified options. Jones and his group believe Shear shouldn't have held this contract in the first place and every public dollar spent at his shop should be scrutinized. Moving forward, do you see 
Shears Auto Parts bidding on this contract again? Absolutely not. Oh, you're not going to bid again? I, no. Shearer also told me he will not run for the fire board again when his term expires in 2022. Friends of Strasburg Fire is currently suing the Strasburg Fire Protection District Board for a violation of the Colorado Open Meetings Law. The group has video of the board going into executive session without a vote, which violates that law. They say their new goal moving forward is to ensure that the board is planning for the future of the district. There's always going to be overlap in small towns, but that is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, and the thought is that, that Strasburg was so small for so long, so volunteer-based, mm -hmm. right. that, that this was just kind of the way that it worked, but now that it's getting some scrutiny, people are raising a few questions. Yeah, justifiably. All right, thank you, Steve.